Need a website? No worries. You can easily create a free one yourself by visiting Wix.com and you don't have to be a developer. Wix offers hundreds of templates nicely made by amazing designers and there's lots to choose from. You can customize them easily just as you would in Photoshop by dragging and dropping everything into place. Use a gallery with your photos and videos and even add some 3D effects. And just like that, you got your very own professional and beautiful looking website. Don't be shy, give it a go by visiting Wix.com today to create your stunning website and the best part is, it's easy and free. Yo, what's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. It seems like you guys really like these uh, Final Cut videos, so I decided to make them a lot just because you guys want to see them. But uh, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do or how to replicate the effect that I showed you in the very beginning of this video. And it's actually really simple and easy to do. All you have to really do or in order to achieve this effect is to get some cinematic movie trailer sound effects or sound effects to make it seem more surreal or more suspense. So the effect here is technically the whole entire thing. We're just creating like a suspenseful horror type of uh, trailer with the sound effects. And it's really, really easy to do. So what I did, I just went on to uh, Pixabay, I believe. I'll leave all of the links to all of the stuff that you're going to be uh, needing for this tutorial, but everything will be in the description. But if you go onto that website, you guys can download some free drone shots, and these are all 100% free. I'm not sponsored at all, but uh, these are just some shots that I downloaded, and these are royalty free. But if you push play, this is just stock, and what I did is I just simply added a vignette, so I just dragged that on top of the footage here. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag that on top just to show you guys. I don't want to delete everything because I want to know what I did. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just put that on top. And then from here, what you want to go ahead and do is go on to the effects here in the effects panel. So sorry if I sound a little bit different. Um, first of all, because I did have my wisdom teeth taken out a couple days ago. But I'm trying my best to put out videos for you guys because you guys mean the world to me. But uh, if you go to effects and you go to all video and audio, all you got to do is just type in vignette. And then you should have vignette or a vignette mask. I accidentally added the vignette mask to the video, but the vignette and the vignette mask well, works pretty much the same. But just add a vignette to the video here, and I will just kind of go like that. Go ahead and take off the effects here. We don't really need that for now. But actually, before we take that off, let's go ahead and look up the last effect that we're going to add is the letterbox effect. I made a tutorial on this specifically, so if you guys want to see that, I'll leave a link in the description where I talk about everything with the letterbox. But go ahead and click on the video and go to the video in the inspector tab and go to letterbox. Now make sure that the letterbox is on top of the vignette. It's kind of like layers. If not, you're going to get that really weird faded effect in the in between the lines. So from here, what you want to go ahead and do is go into the letterbox, go to the aspect ratio and change the aspect ratio to 2.35 to 1 or you could do 255. Uh, and uh, I like to keep it at 2.35 just because it looks nice and the vignette is kind of strong so I'm not going to darken it too much. Now if you want to make it more suspenseful and more scary you can of course make it you know darken the the uh, effect here with the vignette. You can change the size and the fall off. The fall off is pretty much wherever this is going to blend I guess. So I want to blend kind of around the, in the corners. So this is good. Go ahead and add the cinematic, um, what's it called? It's the cinematic movie trailer sound effects and I just added that in the beginning. There are a lot of sound effects but I just selected this one because I think it looks really nice with this whole entire effect. So what I did is I pushed play. So whenever the drop kind of happens we want to add a like a pause in between each break. So what I did is I just add you know I went and put in the video here. I use the blade tool to cut down wherever I want the part to end. So like let's say right here and right here. So I'm only getting this sample right here. So however long the audio is, 
this is what we're going to be keeping and the rest we're going to pretty much disable or delete so we don't want to delete this though yet so we want to go on to the effects here or go on to the generators tab go on to the custom and just drag that on the first one here the one will be cut go ahead and drag that and click replace from start and that will just replace it with the same timing so now if we push play we should replicate the same effect we did in the beginning of the video so now we have that of course we edit our own text i'll show you guys how to do that in a little bit but we did that and then what i did is i just kind of played the rest of the video of course right now it's black you can't really see anything but if we disable it you'll be able to see what is playing so but if i push play it just kind of continues and we don't really, really really don't want that it doesn't add that cool effect so as you see it in the trailers and in the movies and stuff like that they always add a suspenseful pause and kind of kind of to keep you wondering so what you do is again go to the blade tool by pressing b on your keyboard and cutting down wherever the next part starts and wherever the part is where you want it to pause so now we go back to the generators tab we go to custom and we just drag that back onto this one here and we click on replace from start and you want to go ahead and do that for each single kind of drop here so if we push play you can see that now it kind of goes into black completely black for this whole entire kind of pause and then it starts it picks up again on a different scene and you just continue from there and it's just really really cool so you want to keep doing that to wherever you want now of course you could of course just you know take off a certain part so let's say you don't want it to start right here maybe you want to get a part right here so what you do is you first have to cut it right here and then now choose a spot where you want it to play from so or where, where you want it to start let's say I want it to start right here after this pause so what you want to go ahead and do is just go ahead and uh, kind of kind of trim this down like right, right over here and drag this one right here as well so now what we've done is just kind of separated this clip from this other one with a custom generators tab with just black replace from start so now if we push play It will start from wherever we selected, which is really, really cool. Now, let me go ahead and undo that because I want to show you guys. Actually, I just need to show you this part right here. So now I have some different footage here. It just makes the effect look a whole lot better. So now if we push play, I'm going to show you guys. This is the same exact effect, except I used a different sound effect here. And I just cut it to wherever it starts and or wherever I want it to. So if I push play. So you can see it pauses right here because this is kind of where the drop is and then it starts right here again I think this is a, a little off just a little bit so push play there you go. now the text is actually really simple what I did is I just added like a keyframe to crop out the text so it kind of appears like it's kind of like uh, appearing by itself so if I push play you can see that it kind of goes away so what I did is I just went to the text here and it went to the titles I added a simple basic title right here so I just added to the beginning or to the top of the video and again this is where it's officially gonna start because we still have a black kind of pause so I'm just gonna head and just change the text by double clicking on the actual text layer here and change it to like something like I don't know Hong Kong I believe I'm not sure if this is Hong Kong so if I'm wrong I'm sorry but uh, yeah, so I'm going to just do Hong Kong and the font, I believe, was called Octine Spray Paint. Anyways, you want to go ahead and just select it and change the font to whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and select it really quickly. So it's called Octane, I believe, uh, this one here. And all I did is I just went to the advanced and I clicked the little arrow. I went to the tracking and I made that a little bit longer. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm going to just leave it there. And I went to the blade tool, I cut that because we don't need the rest of that. We only want to put it for the first the first part of the video. And then let me go ahead and delete that one because we don't need that one either. So we have Hong Kong. And then what I did is I went to the video tab right here on the text layer. And so we have Hong Kong. It just looks nice, especially with the font. It just works just because it's kind of like a suspenseful, a suspenseful horror kind of trailer. 
And then we go to crop and then right here you can do either you want the right part. All right guys, so that just kind of adds like the, the font kind of adds that suspenseful horror trailer kind of look. So that's what kind of what we want. So we have the text here and we want to go ahead and do go to the crop option on the video and you could either change it from the right part right here and this will kind of get rid of it or you can do the top. So it will kind of go like that. I think that looks kind of cool. So I'm going to start it at the very beginning because that's what you because that's where you want to start the effect. So click add a keyframe and then you want to go ahead and kind of go towards the end here or actually no, go a little bit towards the middle and then go ahead and first of all, we're going to make this disappear so it's not shown. So right here about 460 and then we want it to appear around the middle. So now we just bring this back and it will add a keyframe automatically and then go a little bit more and then we're going to go ahead and just, I guess we could just get rid of it completely. So it starts here and maybe towards the end we want to get rid of it. So we go towards the end and we add another one here. So something like that. So let's see how this turned out. Let me go ahead and render this real quickly because Final Cut Pro 10 likes to be really weird sometimes with me. But uh, I mean, that's pretty much the the way to do this. It's very simple and very easy, like I said. Anyone can do this. So let me go ahead and push play once again. So that's a nice effect, as you can see. Now, if we change the quality to better quality, so you can see it at 100%, this is so far what we've gotten. You guys can even go onto the transitions and add a lot of stuff. You can go onto the cross dissolve and add transitions in between the clips. You guys can go onto the effects and add a whole bunch of effects to the video. You can do 50s TV and make it black and gray to give it that really, that really old kind of style uh, to the video. You can do add noise uh, and add noise I think looks kind of cool. So if you drag it onto the video here, it's just kind of it's going to give it that grainy effect. So if we click on it and we go on to the noise here, you can do monochrome and you can do a whole bunch of stuff. So you can do TV static, you can do Gaussian noise, so film grain. This is pretty cool. You can do blue noise, you can do pink noise. Um, but personally, I think white noise would look really, really cool with this. And there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do. You can change the settings here, the opacity. So I'm going to lower this about 66% and render this out so you guys can see what the effect will look like once it is finished. So give it a little seconds, a little bit of time for this to render. Okay, so now it's finished rendering. So if we push play, you get that really nice, kind of really nice effect to the video. It kind of it kind of makes it like the world is ending in a way. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you guys found this video helpful in any way, please smash that like button. That would be awesome. Comment down what you guys want to see next or any Final Cut Pro 10 video ideas. Subscribe if you haven't. I post videos just like this. And I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.